Hello, I'm Marlon Dahl, and today on Bachelor on a Budget, I'm showing you all the exotic stuff I just got from my Asian grocery market. I just went to the TNT and spent $90 on a bunch of exotic goodies. So let's see what I got, and maybe you'll get some inspiration from some of the cool ingredients that I picked up. Come on. First off, we got some coconut milk. I love this stuff. This goes in so many recipes for making a nice curry. I've even made this with pasta, with laksa. Some of the stuff you can check up right here in the cards. When I buy coconut milk at the store, I try and get it so it's mostly coconut and water. Ideally, it shows the extract percentage, so coconut extract 60%. If it was coconut cream, it'd probably be about 80%. Um, but yeah, coconut and water. Super traditional at a grocery store. Chickpeas, just $1.29, so I bought them. They were cheap. I'll make hummus with this. Salted cashews, $11.99. These were gonna be $18, uh, but they were on special. Um, I often find the Asian grocery store uh, puts it on special, and I've already been diving in here. I love cashews. What could be more tempting than cashews? Bigger cashews. Great, healthy, calorie dense, high fat nuts. Good fat. Mm. White rabbit creamy candy. This stuff, this is my favorite candy. It's it's these creamy delicious candies and I don't eat much candy but this is a bit of nostalgia. They're kind of wrapped in, not kind of, they are wrapped in rice paper. Um, and they're really hard in the beginning and then they kind of soften and melt in your mouth. But they are solid. Mm. Hot pepper paste. This is a Korean fermented pepper paste, also known as gochujang. And this stuff is delicious. It adds a ton of great flavor and it is the main ingredient for my bibimbap that you can find right there. But yeah, recommend picking this up. Look for hot pepper paste or gochujang. Masaman curry paste. Masaman is uh, generally traditionally made with like meat dishes, uh, mostly meat, I think beef, um, but uh, this is like a curry paste, so the main ingredient is chili, 25% uh, chili, 20% garlic, 90% lemongrass, shallot, salt, galangal, -gal, spice. Um, so it's it's lots of really strong flavor enhancers, and these make for such simple, great meals. Like this thing is $1.99, um, so you can get them cheaper. Just trying these out because I know these can be really convenient for some of you home cooks. Laksa paste. Uh, this saves a ton of time making laksa. Again, all these flavor enhancers crammed in these packets. It's so delicious. Uh, things like dried shrimp, onion, garlic, ginger, citronella, um, lemongrass, curry leaves, turmeric, ginger. Lots of flavor enhancers. These are great. Um, I got a laksa recipe that you can find right here and I'm thinking of making another coming out shortly. So, highly recommend these things. Give these a shot. And I got some laksa noodles to go with that, $1.99. Uh, traditionally, laksa is often made with two noodles, so like a rice noodle and an egg noodle. If you go to the Asian grocery store, you generally there's like 40 different types or brands of noodles. Uh, so much variety, probably 100 plus. Um, yeah, $1.99 is great for uh, quick, easy laksa. Produce, $1.49 for these enoki mushrooms. I love these, they have a ton of flavor and uh, they're, I don't wanna say cute, but I'm gonna say cute. Cute little mushrooms. They're awesome, they have a ton of flavor, they look cool, um, and just something uh, new for you to try if you haven't uh, cooked with these before. Um, and pretty affordable, $1.49, uh, easy to clean too. Just rinse and cook. Sweet potatoes, two thirty-five. holy, dropping them, trying to juggle. Also known as yam, sometimes they get mixed up at the grocery store, but uh, these are delicious, have a ton of nutrients, a lot more so than regular potatoes. I try not to get them from uh, China, I look where they're from, um, preferably, because otherwise they can sometimes have too many pesticides. You choy! You're asking, what the heck is this? This is like big leafy spinach where there's like stems that have a consistency similar to hmm, asparagus or hmm, bok choy kind of. Um, but yeah, this stuff is awesome and it was on special. Um, it's great, just fried up with some uh, oil and salt and maybe some MSG. Um, delicious on its own. Or you can totally put this in pasta or stir fries. Highly recommend. I don't know if this is how you say it, but longins. Longin? 
These guys were also on special for $3, and they are quite similar to lychees. Uh, they're a bit smaller, they don't have quite as much of a shell, um, but in terms of flavor, they might be a bit more subtle, and uh, they're not too easy to peel. They're very juicy, and they look like little eyeballs. Hello? I'm a big seed, so they eat the outside. So good. But they were like 70% off. Normally they're a bit more expensive. They come from Vietnam. And then this big black seed. Don't eat this. Some apples, uh, they have so many different varieties of apples that there's gotta be one on sale that uh, is my favorite. And one of those is Pacific Rose. They're crisp, they're tart, they're sweet, they're sour. They're everything I like in an apple. Crown Broccoli, also on special for $1.95 for these two little guys. That is not brightly colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. It's broccoli! Yes! Oh, red papaya, which is yellow and green. Uh, I don't often get uh, papaya, but um, it was on special, so why not, right? Um, have stuff that you don't normally. Uh, and this is great with a bit of lemon juice squeezed over. It really brings up the, the flavors, but yeah, I'm excited for this to ripen. It's gonna be good. So I couldn't find the price tag on this, but this is uh, sweet pea shoots and they were $5.99 when I saw, uh, saw it. I knew they were gonna be a bit more expensive. This stuff is like, it, if you've seen foodie like garnish, this is like the epitome of good garnish. This is gonna take my like food plating to the next level right here. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of that on some of my dishes, and it's just gonna make them look so good. I mean, they'll taste good, but you know, for photography reasons. Gotta love specials. These were $5.99 before, but now they are $2.99 on special. Avocados, gotta love them. Big thing of free run eggs for $8.27. I love frying these up with lots of vegetables for my vegetable scrambled eggs that you can find there or adding to pastas, but you know eggs are very versatile. Mini tofu puffs. So these are basically fried tofu and they get kind of uh, puffy. Um, but yeah, these are for basically for my loxas. Um, so yeah, you just add these into the water and they absorb a ton of flavor or into your broth rather. And miso paste. Uh, I paid $6.99 for this, but man, I have been falling in love with miso paste. I don't even make miso soup, but holy, this is like the ultimate like flavoring agent that I've just become super fond of. I actually recently went with uh, my girlfriend to uh, what was ranked recently the number one restaurant in Canada, Kisa Tanto, and they had lots of like miso glazed stuff, like miso glazed eggplant, and I've made that before. But uh, man, this stuff goes uh, really well. Um, I just came up with this cheesy popcorn uh, sauce recipe uh, that you can find right here, cheesy popcorn. And uh, man, it is delicious. And this is one of the main ingredients. It's very like salty, so you can add this to a ton of stuff. Instead of using salt, just add a bit of miso paste and it, uh, it adds a ton of great flavor. But man, with like eggplant or put on some vegetables, oh boy. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope I inspired you to try out some new ingredients. Uh, maybe go to your local Asian grocery store if you have one, or even just the Asian section at your local grocery store. Um, usually they have a lot of variety in there too. I'm gonna eat way too many of these uh, candies. If this is your first time here, love to have you subscribe. Stick around for tons of great recipes and informational topics. And uh, check out some more of my videos right here. Oh, but first, leave a comment down below and let me know an Asian ingredient that I have to try. Maybe something I haven't before, but uh, that you know is really delicious that I really got to try. Thanks, guys.